Are you ready to take your fitness goals to the next level? Join us in this tutorial and visit myfitnesspal.com. Signing up for an account is free, and it will let you calculate the amount of calories in each of your meals, as well as track your weight loss progress. We'll use the website version, which offers many additional resources, but MyFitnessPal is available for mobile and downloadable on the App Store and Google Play. When using it, you can switch to your language of choice. MyFitnessPal works in Spanish, German, English, French, Chinese, Italian, Japanese, Korean or Norwegian, among other languages. First, we'll show you how easy the registration process is. We enter our email address. And choose a password. Then, we need to prove we are not a robot. We will now provide some details to personalize the experience. But let's choose our preferred unit format before we do. Kilograms Centimeters Kilometers And milliliters Okay, so my current weight is 60 kilograms. And I'm a little shorter than that height set by default. My goal weight is 54 kilograms. I'm a female and let's select my date of birth. A location, a postal code and a username are also requested. Next, we will choose the lifestyle that comes the closest to our daily physical activity. We select active. Since we plan to work out 7 days per week, we select 7 on this drop-down menu and specify the planned workout length. Lastly, we set our weight loss goal, which is 1 kg per week. MyFitnessPal also works for maintenance plans, and you may even set gaining weight as your goal instead. Make sure you have read their terms and privacy policy before clicking on sign up. First off, we are offered a subscription to their email newsletters, so why not? Tips and recommendations are always welcome. Then we are encouraged to invite friends, but we'll skip this step for now. The next screen displays our personalized goals. 1200 calories to be consumed per day, and the recommended amounts of carbs, fats and protein, and 1500 to be burned per week. According to MyFitnessPal, if we stick to this nutrition and exercise plan, we will lose 0.7 kilograms per week, which sounds safe and realistic. Let's take a look at our personal fitness diary. We are invited to pay for premium features, but the free version has everything we need, thank you. After some hesitation, we decide to fill out our exercise diary first. You may add either your cardio exercise or your strength training or both. When you click on add exercise, you are taken to a search box that will help you find the exact type of physical activity you have performed. We enter for how long we ran in minutes, and the number of calories burned is immediately shown.
When we add it to the diary, we can check whether we have reached our daily goal, as well as how far we are from reaching our weekly goal. Let's go for the strength training now. We've done some squats. And in this case we must provide additional info about the number of sets and repetitions, and how much weight we lifted if any. So we type 4 sets. 10 repetitions per set. And 5 kilograms. Done. Let's count the calories in each of our meals now. The website will not only calculate our daily totals, but will also measure the amount of carbs, protein and fats we consume with each food type. Note that if you add your meals gradually during the day, you will get the chance to readjust what you plan to eat, so that you don't exceed your recommended daily calorie intake. Here, we'll also have a box to make an accurate search and find the exact type of food we consumed. Then we must specify the number of servings we had, to ensure that the estimate of calories is precise. See how the butter choices are endless. If you can't find the product you consumed, select one with similar characteristics, like unsalted, for instance, and don't forget to specify whether it was a teaspoon or a tablespoon. It does make a difference. Hot drinks and beverages also count here, so we'll add our morning coffee. And just like this, we got the total calorie count and nutritional value of our breakfast. Since we ate a mid-morning snack, we'll go to the snacks section now. We had a regular apple. and a croissant. At the bottom of the page, every single calorie we consume is being added to the total. Next, we'll discover what happens at the end of the day. All our meals have been registered now, and we can check that we didn't exceed our recommended daily calorie intake, although we can't say the same about the protein and sugar we had. Time to make adjustments for tomorrow. Down below we may also register our water drinking goals, either with the quick add feature. Oops, this is not what we meant. Or manually.
Your personal food diary will also help you to get familiar with the amount of calories provided by each food type and with the carbs, proteins, and fats they contain. This way, it will be easier for you to make healthier choices on a daily basis. Once completed and for greater convenience, you can create this printable version of your daily calorie tracking with one simple click. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Will you try my fitness pal? Are you already using it? Share your experience in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful life hacks. Thanks for watching, see you next time.